one such so I'm gonna show you guys my February favorites um, it is March 1st right now so happy March people oh my god I can't believe February is completely over and now we're on to March and hopefully the weather is gonna cool down because right now I'm looking outside my window and it's snowing outside and it's supposed to be like 30 centimeters coming within t tonight and like throughout the night so let's see I won't be buried alive I'm kidding I won't be buried alive like it reminds me of The Revenant. Did anyone watch The Revenant? Oh, P.S. Speaking of The Revenant, congrats to Leo winning the Oscars. Like, literally, that thing made my life. Like, Leo worked so hard the past few decades, I guess two decades-ish, and, like, he finally got an Oscar. So I'm so happy for him. So thumbs up if you agree that Leo deserved that Oscar, because he was so good in The Revenant. I watched it, and I was like blown away. For those of you who don't know The Revenant, um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's still in theaters right now because it's still, like, an Oscar winning movie. Um, so it's basically filmed with all natural lighting. It took them eight months to film and they were actually in those elements of that cold weather and the cinematography and just everything about The Revenant is amazing and if you don't do well with like animal cruelty or animal like death sort of thing I don't recommend it because there are some like scenes where it's like very graphic. There were scenes where I had to like cover my eyes because it's just too graphic for me. But yeah. Um, let's go with my February favorites. I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent because I'm so proud of Leo. I'm so proud of Leo. Okay, so first thing is a hair product. It's called It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In um, Plus Keratin. I have mentioned this product before, but the reasoning why I'm mentioning it again is because the weather has been so cold this month of February here in Canada where I live, like I live in the Toronto area, and it's so cold and it's so drying on your hair. Like, I actually have like a lot of dandruff in my hair and also I have some spots where it's like I know it's kind of gross but I had in high school is I have some blood spots in certain areas of my head because uh, I have eczema which means I have very dry skin plus I have that skin condition where like I scratch until I bleed sometimes <laughs> I know it sounds disgusting but people who have eczema totally understand where I'm coming from but especially since the winter air is so dry on my skin my scalp is extra dry and it also makes my hair, my hair feel like even more drier. So the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Treatment Plus Keratin, it keeps the ends of my hair very hydrated, especially because um, I cut my hair, I want to say like end of November last year, or end of October last year, I think it was end of November last year I cut my hair, and I don't have a lot of split ends, even though I curl my hair pretty often, um, I use this to make sure I don't get any split ends, um, and the reason why I get the one that has keratin in it is because keratin is a protein that's in your hair, and you lose the keratin in your hair as you put more and more product and heat onto your hair which damages it so this puts the keratin back into your hair so then your hair is healthy again and I put this on towel dried hair um, and just run it through my ends only so just like here down I don't put it anywhere on top because I find it gets my hair too greasy and for my hair wash I only wash my hair every two three days I try to wash it every other day but sometimes I extend it depending on how I feel with my hair sometimes I put dry shampoo in it, it really depends but like, especially in the, this winter time, you don't want to wash your hair every single day because it dries out your hair even more, especially your scalp. And always try to keep your scalp as moisturized as possible. I know for people who have oily hair, that's like really easy because your hair is just naturally oily. But especially now in the winter time, with the cold air blowing, you have to make sure your scalp is hydrated. And next, moving on to skincare. Um, I have, I think I've mentioned these cotton pads before, but if not, here they are. Uh, but these I got from Costco. The brand is called Delon. D-E-L-O-N. I'll put all the links down below so you guys can see these products. But they're the premium cosmetic cotton rounds and they come in 100 packs like this and it comes with 8 of them so it's like 800 of them, 800 pads for around 12 to 14 dollars Canadian at Costco. I'm pretty sure they have this in the States as well. But these are the cotton pads I use all the time for my toner, my makeup remover, and that's it. It's just my toner makeup remover I use this for. But the reason why I love this is because the texture, the one side of here is smooth and the other side is perforated and it has texture to it. And when you use it, this texture side is great for removing off um, waterproof makeup, um, any makeup that's very stubborn. I use this side and then I use this side first and then I turn it to the soft side and just remove the rest of my face. Makeup, fit, not the rest of my face, you can't remove your face unless you like try to like cut it off but that's just gross. Um, 
And yeah, so sometimes you, when you saturate your cotton pads so much, the first layer, like the textured layer here, it comes right off. So if you, you can actually peel it off and continue on removing your makeup. I know it's weird to peel off like the first texture, but you can get like several uses out of it before you use the second one. And I find for me, removing off my makeup, I usually just need one of these cotton pads and I'm good to go. Um, yeah, so highly recommend. They're from Costco. Again, the brand is called Delon, D-E-L-O-N. The premium cotton rounds, these are amazing. And they're great for removing off nail polish too, I forgot to mention. I also use it to remove nail polish. So good, so good. Uh, next, a skincare product. I've had this for years now. I feel like there's like only this much left. And the reason why I have so much of it left is because I don't have acne a lot, especially because I have dry skin and I have eczema. I don't, it's not very often that I get pimples. So, um, this product is a Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10, 10% 10 benzoyl peroxide acne medication maximum strength. So this I got from the States. I actually got my um, brother to buy it for me when he was in the States like years ago. And they have Persa Gel 5 here in Canada. Because legally, I don't think we're allowed to have the 10 version in um, Canada because it's really strong. This is the 10% benzoyl peroxide that you can get in the States. But if you're in Canada, you can only get the 5%. It's just for the legal... I think it's the um, FDA, the Federal Drug Administration, that would not allow it to come to Canada because it's too strong of a benzoyl peroxide. But I love this because it's super strong on the pimples I need to like get rid of. So what I do is I put this as a spot treatment after I do my complete skincare routine. I just put it on the spots where I need to cover it. Like I used to have a pimple right here. I put it and it helps uh, get rid of the uh, pimple. Also, I know it's a weird fact, I have a pimple like in my armpit area and I've been putting this on the pimple in my armpit area and it's actually been helping it a lot. I know it's really hard because like when you have a pimple in your armpit area when you put deodorant on you have to like put it around it and not on it because that's just really weird so I've been using this on that pimple on my armpit and on my face and it's been working really well. It's just a white lotion that you put on your face or like a white cream texture. Pretty face you just put it on and then leave it on and you're good to go. I put it on two, three times a day depending on how fast I want to get rid of the pimple, but I love this product and I highly recommend. Again, Persa Gel 10 is in the States, Persa Gel 5 is in Canada. So the next product I have is the Jurgen Shea Butter um, Lotion. I mentioned this in my past favorites, I believe, but I use this as um, a lotion that I put on my bedside table. So I put it on my legs, my hands, or anywhere where I need like extra moisturization before I go to bed. And again, this is the Jurgen Shea Butter um, deep conditioning moisturizer. I got this as a free sample as part of my Wedlux um, gift baggage that I got, so gift bag that I got, so I still love it and I have to mention it again because I actually use it and even if it's a repeat favorite, that's how much I love the product, so I had to mention that. Next is my Ren Clean Skin Care Vita Mineral Emollient Rescue Cream for all skin types. You can get this product at Sephora, you can also get it online at Sephora, you can also get it at Liberty London if you're in the UK or in the London area. And I love this product so much and this month of February for some reason my eczema has been like extra bad. So I have like redness right here and redness all around my mouth area and like I actually have a cracked lip thing right here because my skin is so dry um, and this Ren Clean Skin Care has been helping me so much with my really dry skin so I put it in the areas where I'm like extra dry plus all over my face but I also put this as a spot treatment um, on the areas where my eczema is because it's been so bad like the redness is just unbearable and I don't like putting foundation or concealer over my red areas where my eczema is because I feel like it will irritate it more so I just like let it expose to the rest of the world. Whenever I go outside people will see I'm like I don't care. I don't want to. I love this product so much that I have to get my brother to buy it for me because it's so much cheaper over in the UK than over here. Uh, so yes you can get this at Sephora and you can also get it online at Sephora. We can also get it at Re um, Liberty London uh, which is like a luxury designer store in the London area so Highly recommend for people who have eczema, this will save your life, especially in the winter because like our face is like Ugh. really bad. Uh, last skincare product is my Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Lotion uh, for all skin types and it has salicylic acid. So this is my cream exfoliant that I use every single night. Um, originally when I first bought this product, I used it morning and night, but it felt like I didn't need that much of it so I only put it... Um, once at night, it says here once or twice daily, depending on the type of skin you have. Um, this one, I use it just at night, uh, right after my toner. So the thing that's awesome about this cream exfoliant, 
Most of the time when people think exfoliants, they think of like something that has beads in it or something that they have to like scrub on their face to get rid of the dead skin cells. But the awesome thing about this cream uh, exfoliant is that you just put it onto your face like as you would a lotion on your face and it does it for you automatically. Like there's no need to rinse off, there's no need to scrub, there's no need to anything. All you need is just put this on your face just right after your toner and the ingredients in it will help even out your skin tone, minimize your pores, gets rid of blackheads, uh, helps with redness, helps prevent and get rid of pimples. And the awesome thing about this is um, it's a BHA lotion, so beta hydroxy acid, and beta hydroxy acid actually gets into your pores, whereas AHA, which is alpha hydroxy acid, is what goes just on top of your pore area, so just the surface level of your face. But the BHA goes below the surface, so think of B, uh, B as bottom, so bottom into your pore, like inside your pore, and A is like atop the surface, so just atop of your skin. So it just helps out the top part of your skin to make it look different. So if you're looking for like inside your pore to fi get fixed, get BHAs, where AHA is just is the top level. So that's the way I remember it. So I recommend Paula's Choice Exfoliants because ever since I used this product, my skin has changed forever. I recommend this product before and I'm like literally just sound like a broken record just repeating it over and over again, but it really does work on my skin. Um, there was a time where my neck was like really, really bad for my eczema. I put in my eczema cream, it helped, but like there was a time where it wasn't too severe. So I tried using the BHA lotion on my neck area and it helped it so much. It took like three, four days for it to go back to normal again. Like the redness, the skin tone, and just like everything about my neck, it was like so much better and I highly recommend this for people who have eczema or just have problem areas in your face that you want to like just even out, I highly recommend it. And this, I feel like this plus my um, Paula's Choice Serum is what changed my skin for the better plus my Four Year Luna because I love my Four Year Luna, like that one I like, can like rave about for like hours and hours, but like this plus my serum, plus my Luna has actually changed my skin to the point where I don't have to wear foundation anymore. Um, I never wore foundation like every day in the first place, but like for me, I feel like investing in my skincare is better for me than just to f buy a foundation just to cover up all my problems because there's only so much that a foundation can do because if you don't have a nice canvas on your face to work with, the foundation can't cover that up. So it all starts with your skincare and people need to invest more in their skincare because foundation can only go so far. Uh, next are some beauty products. Um, only have two because I've only been using the same like beauty products for like a really long time. So the first product is um, my MAC brush. Oh my god, the number has rubbed off. It's my MAC uh, highlighting brush in the number 165, I think. It's rubbed off. It's hard to see. But it's basically a teardropped shaped brush it's with black bristles. I'm not sure what type of hair this is, but it's black. And I use this as a highlighting brush. So I use it around my face here to highlight. And then I highlight here, I highlight my nose, I highlight this area, my chin. Not so much my cupid's bow area because like I use tissue so much that like if I put a highlighter there, it's gonna like rub off anyways. And on my chin. So that's why I usually highlight. So here, 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 nose, and the forehead area. Everyone highlights mostly in the same area roughly, but the contouring is what makes it different. Um, I don't highlight underneath my brow area. Only use like a satin or matte eyeshadow underneath my brow area. That's just me though. And I, the reason why I like this highlighting brush is because I feel like for a good highlight to show up, you have to use a brush that's like this. Like it's really, it's not super densely packed, but it picks up a lot of products so that when you put the highlighter on your face, like today I'm wearing my... Um, Makeup Forever Artist Shadow, Artist Shadow. Uh, it's a, like a light um, cream color, so it goes all around like this, and then you can actually see it because I use this type of brush. If you were to use like a fan brush or like any other, I think brush that's like not this or like a dense brush, your highlight's not going to show up as much. And that's just me though. I like my highlight to be like you know strong so then people can see it especially because I got dry skin and I need that moisture look or that dewy look on my face so I'm like hey make that highlighter show so I use a brush like this and I highly recommend it um you know I know this is a limited edition brush that MAC has it's not like an all-around all year round uh, brush they have I'm pretty sure you can find a brush like this at Sephora or any like makeup store um or beauty <laughs> product store, oh, I can't talk today, um, where they have like brushes like this, so it's like a, it looks like a teardrop and yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing with my Becca Highlighter Champagne Pop, it's like BAM! 
bam, check out that highlight. Like, it's so good. Um, next product that I love is the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara. And I wish I had it in the waterproof version because I feel like the waterproof version would work a lot better for me because this is just a regular formula and I feel like it's not strong enough to hold my curl. Like, it gives me the volume that I want. Like, I'm wearing it today, but, like, it's not, like, enough to the point where, like, it holds my curl. And it feels like, at the end of the day, my lashes go down like this, but my volume is still there. So I still like this product. I just need to get it in the waterproof version. So for those of you who haven't seen... Um, the brush is curved like this, so it actually hold, you can actually it goes along with the curve of your um, eyelashes, which really helps. And also like the tip of it, because you can even go like this to help add more mascara. It gets into little baby hairs. I really like it. But I love this, but I wish I got the waterproof version. I just bought the regular version, like whatever. But this is great for volume. Little bit of length, but like the volume is like bam, like in your face, and I love it. Uh, so that's all my beauty products, all makeup stuff. So now moving on to like, I guess, me medical type of things or like medicine type of things. Um, I'm not going to like recommend you guys drugs because that's just kind of weird. It really depends on the type of like sickness you have or like over the counter drugs. I'm not going to recommend you like real drugs because you your doctor will recommend that for you. But um, I've been getting a lot of headaches recently. Um, it stopped now, but like early February I kept on getting headaches I'm not sure why it was but like I didn't want to have to take Tylenol or Advil at the time Advil works better on me than um, Tylenol and Advil is ibuprofen so I feel like that works better for me there was a time where Tylenol worked for me but now it doesn't work anymore I don't know it's really weird I've been using this sage natural wellness peppermint halo it's a headache remedy and this is a sample that I got um, but I used to work at my past workplace like a while ago and I just started using it just recently and it works wonders so the way you're supposed to apply it there's like peppermint in it what's in this that's like making it amazing there's peppermint eucalyptus rosemary lavender ve vetiver and kashaput I don't know but this thing's amazing so basically what you're supposed to do is I put this like right beside my bedside table right on my bedside table so when I feel like I'm getting a headache at night I put this on so I won't put this on right now because I have makeup on my face but basically you want to put a halo around your face so you put it all around this area right here so just frame your hairline area right here especially in your temple area like right there and then underneath your hairline so if I were to lift my hairline so the U shape that's behind your hairline you put that all around there so it's kind of like a halo like you know a halo on your head and what it does is the smell of it um, and just the minty effect that it goes into your skin and your pores and makes you f like feel so much better and your headache is like lifted like it's gone it's really weird how it works I'm not sure if thing is the smell or anything that's like I don't know I think it's, it's the peppermint and the lavender for sure the peppermint because peppermint is like one of the first ingredients here and it makes a huge difference and um, I also use this I know it sounds gross but like I put this around my nose ear right here so right here when I'm having breathing problems especially like sinus and sinus problems or just like breathing problems in general I put that around my nose area and the peppermint it sting it doesn't really super sting but it makes that area like your nostrils like open like your nostril like holes just open you start to breathe a lot easier you can even just like smell it and like you just notice like a difference like right away like right now I can feel my nostrils like opening because I know especially now because it's like still flu season people are getting sick like this thing <laughs> does wonders and it's all natural it's like amazing so if you guys heard of sage natural wellness before they have all they have a lot of like natural remedies instead of using um, over-the-counter drugs or just like um, westernized medicine um, then try this it's like all natural and it's amazing and you know ever since I've used this I haven't taken an Advil or a Tylenol for my headaches in a really long time Unless it's like a really bad headache and I also have body pains included, then that's when I'll take a Tylenol Advil. But this one is just amazing just for headaches or when you have like breathing problems with your nose. I highly recommend. So again, it's the Sage Natural Wellness Peppermint Halo. So good. Recommend it. Oh my god. Uh, next favorite is a fashion favorite. Um, so the main purse that I use right now, um, it was at one time the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. Now it's before. Now it's a Kate Spade um, bag. I'm going to show you my current bag. So this is the current purse that I use. Uh, I'm not sure the name of it, but it's Kate Spade 
and I got it as a Christmas gift a while ago and I love it and it, I love it so much because it reminds me of a Chanel bag but I don't have the money to afford a Chanel bag so this is the close I'm getting to Chanel so it's really nice I love it it has like three large pockets if you want me to do a what's in my purse video let me know I can show you guys that but like oh my god this is like a really good purse and it's great for winter because like it hides pockets so like snow won't get in it and stuff so like, it's good but um, since that purse is really big, when I'm going out, I like to switch up my purses. So I've been using this purse. Again, it's from Kate Spade. I'm obsessed with Kate Spade, if you can't tell yet. Um, I'm going to film a Kate Spade collection video because I have so much Kate Spade stuff that I want to share with you guys. Um, this is the bag, and I don't really like the strap part right here. I don't know why. It just keeps twisting and turning, and I don't know why. It's just like, it's just doesn't work for me I don't know why so you can wear it like on the side you can wear it as a crossbody you can wear it like a whole bunch of different ways um, but it's a really decent size so I would say it's like between the small to medium size it's almost like a clutch almost um, so there's like lining inside it has one large pocket inside here and it has a side pocket inside. There's no zipper pocket, there's another side pocket here inside. And I love it, and it holds a lot of my things that I need. For example, it holds a small wallet that I have from Fossil. It holds my EpiPen, it holds tissue pack, it holds my phone, it holds my keys. But like, it's a pretty decent sized bag for like, the size of it. Even though it looks small, like compared to my hand, even though it looks small, it's like still very practical. And it's holds my EpiPen, which is important because for those of you who don't know, I have a severe peanut and nut allergy, so I have to carry an EpiPen with me at all times in case of emergencies. And this fits your EpiPen, so that's important. Um, and I love this color. Um, I know we're in winter right now, but I feel like this is still a winter color, spring, like this is an all year round color. Like this color, this purple fuchsia color, it's universal, plus it's girly and I'm such a girly girl, so this is perfect, love it. Uh, okay, next is Oh my god, Fifty Shades of Grey. So, obviously Fifty Shades of Grey came out last year, but the reason why I'm mentioning it again is because this past month of February, they started filming Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Freed. So for those of you who are like huge Fifty Shades of Grey fanatics, you know that they started filming on February 16th, which is the day after President's Day slash Family Day. So the Tuesday, February 16th, they started filming, and I'm like so stoked. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited, and like, I follow so many Twitter and Instagram accounts that post pictures of behind the scenes that people take of, like, them filming the movie. So as of today, um, Jamie Dornan, who is Christian Grey, he started filming scenes with a um, Anna slash Dakota Johnson, and it's so exciting because, like, it brings me that excitement that I had, like, around two years ago around this time where they started, f where they were filming the movie, and it just gets me super excited. I know it might seem like a spoiler to some of you, like, because you want to be surprised about how the movie's gonna look, or how, what their clothing and they wear, like, just the way they look, but I love the movie slash the book so much that, like, seeing, like, little bits of it here and there, even though you can't hear the dialogue, you just see, like, imagery of what it is, it just gets me so excited, and, like, this is the one movie slash book that has ever gotten me excited for everything, because Fifty Shades of Grey is the first book that I've ever read that turned into a movie that I was like so obsessed about. Like I read about The Notebook before The Notebook became a movie, but I wasn't like in love with the book The Notebook to the point where when I saw the movie I'm just like, oh my god, The Notebook, like Ryan Gosling, Rich McAdams, but like this movie is just, it, this book slash movie, it just changed my life. I know it sounds stupid or like very cliche, or, like bleh, but like I don't care. I like, love it, so if it makes me happy, I'm gonna continue being obsessed over it. Um, so yeah, this is the Fifty Shades of Grey, I think this is the Walmart edition or something. Um, but it comes with a DVD and it comes with the Blu-ray, uh, here and it comes with like exclusive photos and stuff here, yeah. And then this one is a custom version that I got, um, I got this from, I believe it was Australia online somewhere, but it was custom made so it says Jennifer and Mr. Grey will see you now. So basically it's the exact same DVD that people seen, like if you look at the slip inside, the one side has the actual DVD cover but on the other side they printed my version of it saying Jennifer, uh, Mr. Grey will see you now. So it's the exact same thing but it just says um, my name on it which I liked because if you're a fan of a movie or a book so much you want things to be custom made that has your name on it obviously so duh like you do the same thing with Star Wars or Lord of the Rings or like Divergent or 
Harry Potter, if something said like your name and said Gryffindor, or your name and said Slytherin, or your name and said like you are um, divergent, obviously you're gonna get it if you're a fan, duh. So uh, that is my f movie favorite, or like the favorite thing that's happening in the month of February. And uh, another movie favorite I have is the movie How to Be Single. Um, so I saw it twice. The first time I saw it, um, I was with Sean, and it was really like interesting to see because I love Dakota Johnson and Rebel Wilson is hilarious, and the movie was really funny. And then I saw it again with my girlfriend who's single, and seeing it again was just like wow, it's like such an eye opener for me. Sorry, my scarf just went wonk there, and I just tried to fix it. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was like unraveling as I spoke. Oh my god, it's like coming off. I'm speaking. I'm kidding. Um, and then I saw it again with my girlfriend. Sorry, I mentioned it, um, and it was different because. Um, I'm single now. Um, for those of you who don't know me personally, I'm not in a relationship anymore, but it's okay. We're still friends, like we're still talking. Don't worry about the details. I'll get into it in another video, just don't want to talk about it right now. But when you watch a movie about how to be single when you're single, it just got more deep and you're just like, oh shit, like shit just got real. So like, yeah, I do recommend how to be single, even if you're in a relationship or if you're single, I do recommend it because it does send a positive message out there. It's funny, but it's also like realistic about things that can happen there. And I just love that it was like such an eye-opening experience for me because first time I watched it was in a relationship and the second time was like I was single. So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Um, but yeah, how to be single, I highly recommend. So that was my movie of the month. Slash Fifty Shades of Grey, but Fifty Shades of Grey is number one because that will always be my number one. Um, and my TV show favorite is two of them, but the first one I just gotta mention. It's not on air right now because like they just finished the second season, but the TV show called The Affair. And I first heard it through Ingrid, um, this glamorazzi here on YouTube. Oh my god, like, this show is so good. Like, she wasn't kidding about how, like, dramatic it was. Yes, there's a lot of sex scenes, but also it's such a cool story. It's like about an affair but inside the affair there's like a murder going on and you have to figure out like who actually murdered like that person and it's just so interesting to see. And yeah, I watched season 1 and 2 completely so I'm just waiting for season 3 to come out. I'm not sure if there's a season 3 but I'm just like, oh my god, I need to watch more. But I watched it all online because it's not on the air right now. Um, and the next show I love watching, it just started but it's MasterChef Canada. If you guys know me, I love MasterChef. And that just that whole realm of Master Chef, Master Chef Junior, Master Chef Canada. It just started, and I like obsessed with it. So they just are two episodes in right now. Now that I know of, um, there's two episodes in. So they have like the top 12 or the top 10 or whatever it is or top 15. I don't know. And I'm super excited. I'm so excited. Um, I don't have like a super favorite yet, but I love that there's a character, there's a girl contestant in there named Jennifer. So go Jennifer, cause Jennifer's rule. Um, so that's super exciting. And there's this one girl, I think her name is Veronica, like she's Asian, and I don't know why, but she's so cocky. Like, you can be cocky to a certain extent, but you gotta back it up. You can't just be like, oh, I'm so good at this, I'm gonna win at this, I'm gonna overcomplicate this. Like, you need to slow it down, take your time. We know you're good, but you just need to, like, not be so confident about it. Like, I get confidence is a good thing, but too much of it can kill you. Like, because people will not like you because you come off like that. And like, I remember when she was auditioning, just cooking them food and stuff, she was like way overly confident. Like she made hakao, which is like a shrimp dumpling thing that you see at dim sum, but she made it like a fish shape so it was like unique and different. And then they had to put her into like another round because like she just didn't make the cut yet. And then like she was trying to overcomplicate things like, girl, like slow it down. Like don't, like, don't be so serious. Like. I know it's a competition, but like if you like overcomplicate things, if you're too cocky, then sometimes it just doesn't work out. Like you need to like keep it slow. Do you ever notice like all the winners of Master Chef and Master Chef Junior, they're not overly confident, they're just like meh, just chill, whatever, and they just like coast right through and become the winner. Just saying, just saying. I'll put the link down below for all the products that I've mentioned. And if you have any questions or something, let me know in the comments down below. Please like this video if you like it and subscribe if you haven't, because you gotta share the love here. Oh, P.S. My last video I posted was about how to file your taxes. So if you haven't done your taxes yet, click on my uh, taxes video. I'll put the link down below for that video as well. But yeah, love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.